Hi, welcome to Living My Best Life with Lisa Marie. I'm so excited that you're here. If this is your first time, welcome. And all of my subscribers, you guys are the best. Let's get crafting. For this DIY, I'm going to take this picture frame that I got at the Dollar Tree, along with the little Christmas tree ornament that I also got at Dollar Tree, and I'm going to make a really nice wintry type of a picture for my home. The first thing that I'm going to do is take this pan that I also got at Dollar Tree, and I'm going to cut out a rectangle that fits in the picture frame itself. Now one thing, I traced it first so I knew where to cut, and then when I cut it, you want to be careful because it gets really sharp. So you'll see here in a moment, as I start cutting, I lift the side as I go so it doesn't run along the side of my hand and cut it. There you go, I just bent it up and I'll do it again right now. And you just keep bending it and that way you won't hurt yourself. And obviously if you feel concerned about it, then I would suggest you wear some very strong gloves and that way there's no way you could possibly hurt yourself. I'm gonna trim the edges that were you know, not perfect and just try to get them as straight as possible. Now obviously this is made out of tin, but I want it to look more like galvanized metal. So I'm gonna do the technique that I have done before in other videos where I use some gray paint, any gray paint will do. I'm using the steel from Waverly, the chalk paint. I will use ink, which is like black, and then I will use a silver color, and I will also use, well the silver's the metallic, just so you know, and then I will use some white, and I'm using a little makeup sponge, and I'm just dabbing it all around each of the colors, and I'll go back and forth until I get the desired look. Now if you wanted this to look really old and rusted, you would also use either like a nutmeg color or a burnt umber from Apple Barrel, and you would also add that. I didn't want it to look old and rusted, I just wanted it to look galvanized and just kind of get a wintry feel to it. Now that I have the look that I want, I'm going to use my hot glue gun and I'm going to glue this piece of what looks like galvanized uh, metal now onto the back of the picture frame. And I'm gonna have a little bit to trim on the edge there and now I'm making sure that it is set really nice and I'm gonna take my ornament and figure out which side is the best to lay down. So in other words, which side makes the most contact with the back? And I'm gonna hot glue that right on there. Now this is an ornament, so it's got a little hole in the top. What I decided to do is fill the hole with hot glue, and then once I get it pretty well filled in there, I'm going to paint that with a little bit of white just to try to camouflage it. And right now I'm just making sure that I can secure it to the metal every possible place that it will touch. Now you could absolutely use a more permanent kind of a glue like E6000 or super glue. I just wanted to keep moving forward, and of course hot glue does that for you. Now moving on to the frame, I thought I was going to make it look like wood, so I was going to do a faux wood technique using hazelnut chalk paint from Waverly and burnt umber from Apple Barrel. So I did that and then I didn't like it, so I added a little bit of the ink color, which is like black, and I still felt like I didn't definitely like that. So now I'm going over it with a little bit of white and I ended up doing like a black color with a whitewash. This was one of those projects I was kind of winging it and so I didn't really know what I wanted, so it's good to uh, figure it out and I'm gonna cover it with Mod Podge to protect it, and then I can assemble it. I'm gonna add a little bit of hot glue in each of the four corners just to make sure that it does stay, and then I can go back in if I want to from the front side. And here's when I noticed the hole at the top of the tree, and I am filling it. 
I'm really happy with how this turned out and I hope you guys like it. It's going with a lot of my other decor right now. Today's video is a collaboration with two of my friends here on YouTube. Both of these ladies are very experienced and talented DIYers. They make amazing things and I'm so proud to be joining in with them on this collaboration. We are all well seasoned in life, hence the Golden Girls, and we are doing DIYs on a budget for this collaboration. They're going to be $10 or less. Josie's channel, Life at 50 and Beyond, is really interesting. She does all kinds of inexpensive organizers and decor. Josie was actually one of my very first YouTube friends almost two years ago, and she's been so encouraging and supportive. And then Elaine does so many cool things. I mean, she's got Dollar Tree crafts, cooking, baking, and it's a lot of fun. And I will have both of their links down in my description box. And I met Elaine through a previous group collaboration, and she was so fun to work with. Be sure to go visit both of these beautiful ladies' channels and make sure you tell them that Lisa Marie sent you over. For my next DIY and keeping in this wintry kind of a decor theme, I'm using some pine cones that my husband gathered up for me at a family member's home and I've got all kinds of different snowflake ornaments. There's wood, there's plastic, there's shimmery, I've got a cute little white snowflake ribbon from the Dollar Tree, and I've also got some garland from the Dollar Tree that was from Christmas time, but not specifically Christmas. The first thing I'm going to do is flock all of my pine cones. I'm going to do it in one direction and then turn them around and do it in the other. And I'm just using some white acrylic paint. You could use any white paint to do this. I'm going to use that same white paint and I'm going to take this little wooden snowflake. I think this one came from Walmart in, in that package of different ornaments. And I'm going to very lightly cover it with the white paint on both sides just to give it that frosted look as well. I accidentally broke one of the little ends of the snowflake so I painted it and then I hot glued it back together and you can't even tell. Once I assemble all the ornaments, I'm just taking one of each kind. I'm gonna take the ribbon and I'm gonna cut long strands at different lengths. I want this to be, it's kind of like a swag I'm making and it's going to have things hanging at all different lengths so you can see them all and it'll create just a really pretty piece of decor that you can hang on the wall or on your door. I'm going to attach the pine cones and all of the snowflakes and eventually the garland that I use with hot glue to each of the pieces of ribbon. I'd love for you to join me on my channel by hitting that subscribe button and turning on the notification bell so you'll always know when I have a new video. I do all kinds of DIYs, gardening in the summer. If you enjoy my video, please hit the like button and leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. That helps my channel so much and I do appreciate it. And now that I'm attaching the final strand to the last snowflake, I need to put all of these together. So what I'm going to do is bring the top part of each of the pieces of ribbon together, and I'm going to hot glue each piece together, and then every strand will hang at its own length. And you can see me kind of placing them right here. And it's just so neat looking. So between every single one, I'm gonna add a drop of hot glue. 
This is such an easy and inexpensive craft. I mean, all of those snowflakes came multiples in the packet and I only used one from each packet. The ribbon itself was a dollar and I did not use the entire ring and the pine cones were free. And when I add the little bow at the end, that was also part of a package of three. So this was probably less than $5. Now I realized that you had to have paint and a hot glue gun and hot glue sticks. And since I have those already, I wasn't factoring that in, but that still wouldn't add much to this particular DIY. Since the garland I'm using has wire in it, I'm going to wrap it around my finger and create kind of like a coil. And I think it just gives more interest to the look. And I'm also, of course, attaching it to the top of all the ribbons. I have these really beautiful kind of like flower bows that I picked up. There was three in a pack and I think I got them at Dollar Tree and if not it was Walmart. But they're shimmery and sparkly and they have a little clip on the end so you can just pinch them right to the top. I added a little glue too just to make sure it stays in place but it's really nice and I ended up putting a little teeny piece of jute twine on it so I had a hanger behind it without putting pressure on it so I didn't want the flower to get pulled off. It ended up serving two purposes. One, it was decorative, and two, it hid where I put all of the ribbons together with hot glue, so that was just perfect. You have to let me know what you think about this one. It's kind of different, and I really like it, and I absolutely hope that you do too. I just wanted to let everyone know that I am on social media. You can find me on Instagram, Facebook, and Pinterest. Same name, Living My Best Life with Lisa Marie, and I hope to see you over there. This DIY is another one that's going to be a little different because I'm going to make a kind of a wreath inside of this gold basket. It's for my mother's door for the winter time, and we're just going to hang it from the back of the basket. Again, I'm using the pine cones that my husband collected for me. I literally have more than 140. It's crazy. I doubt that I'll use them all, but you know what? I've got them. And so I'm flocking all of them with that same white acrylic paint that I used on the other ones. And of course, this part is free other than the paint. Now I'm going to position them inside the basket using hot glue. So the first one I have to put the glue in the basket first and then place the pine cone. And after that's in, I can do one pine cone at a time by putting them inside of the basket because now they have a pine cone to kind of lean up against and not roll around. And I'm just gonna do this for all of the pine cones and then add glue after the fact wherever I see a spot where it's touching the wire. I'm taking some more of that garland. I have it in gold and in white, and that's what I'm using for these projects today. And I'm gonna do the same thing I did before, but I'm gonna wrap it around my little silicone spatula, because that's gonna be really easy. And I'm gonna make several of them, and then I'm gonna hot glue them into the center of this wreath. I have this holographic kind of like glittery, shimmery paint. I think it's from Walmart. And I'm just painting the very top little flowers of those pine cones to add extra sparkles and shine. It almost looks like pieces of snow when it hits the sun. I wanted to add a little greenery, but I needed it to stay in the winter theme, so I used some lamb's ear that I had picked up at Walmart a while ago, and I cut really small little batches of leaves, stuck them in there. Now some of them I ended up hot gluing, and some just stayed really tight. I went ahead and I just played around with that till I got them exactly the way that I liked it. It's, you know, it's your craft, you can do it however you like.
I had some of those little gold flowers similar to the silver ones that I had picked up and I'm going to add three of them to create kind of the top of the wreath. It just adds the right touch and it gives it a focal point and I really like it and I hope you do too. And now for a final look at all three DIYs. Unfortunately, the lighting wasn't that great, so I apologize for that. They just turned out so pretty. Don't forget to go visit Elaine and Josie's channels. The links are in the description, and you aren't going to want to miss their videos from today. And if you came over from one of their channels, I'm so happy you're here, and I hope you'll join me and subscribe to my channel as well. In the future, I do plan to do more Golden Girl collaborations and maybe with some other people. Any of us uh, more seasoned individuals out here on YouTube, it would be kind of fun to get us together. Definitely keep an eye out for that. The next few months on my channel are going to be so much fun with tons of collabs, so you're going to want to stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching and being here. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, turn on the notification bell, and definitely give this video a like, and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Until then, you are a blessing.